everyone welcome back to another stitches and scribbles video today I'm going to be crocheting a Christmas present for someone so I don't think this would be the video that he would choose to watch but if you are watching this and you also happen to be my father-in-law um, please stop and go click on another video because you're going to ruin your Christmas present um, <laughs> that being said today I am making the cozy co-ed cardigan pattern by heart hook home I purchased the digital pattern from Etsy, so I'll put the link below in the description box so that you can make it as well if you so choose. I picked this pattern because I actually worked with my mother-in-law. She's the one who um, suggested it and wanted it made for Christmas. Um, she showed me a couple pictures of cardigans that he already has, and we were kind of trying to make something sort of similar to like replace a couple or like match styles to a couple of things. So um, I showed her this pattern and it ticked all of the boxes. So it is a shawl collar cardigan. So it kind of flips a little bit um, at the collar to give it like a little bit of personality. Um, that also means that it's fairly easy to crochet because that's like a softer shape to make I guess. Um, I will be making this in Karen one pound acrylic yarn. Nice big one and this is in the color medium gray mix so it's a little bit variegated. It's not showing up on camera but it's kind of like a heathery looking color and there is 812 yards in each skein. I purchased three of these. I don't think I'll need a fourth one based on the size that I chose but I picked this yarn because I know it's always available in case I do need to go back and get more. So I'm going to go ahead and start the pattern. I'm hoping I can get this done in a week so I'm going to be filming a little bit each day that I can film. Um, I've mentioned it in videos before but I try not to film on weekends um, partially because like usually there's other people here that I'm hanging out with, um, either my husband or other people who have come over, um, and I don't want to subject them to having to be on camera or listen to me talk to myself, um, <laughs> but I'll film as much as I can over the next week and kind of show you progress as I go. So let's go ahead and get started. So I've been working for about two hours, although I did take a break to get a snack and because um, a yarn order came in the mail. So of course I had to like open it and check it out. It's actually a mystery box for October. So I left all of the like surprise yarn packages wrapped up, but I opened it just to make sure that everything was there. And it actually included some like bonus items in it that I'm really excited about, but I'll talk about that more in my next podcast or maybe have a dedicated video to it or something like that. Um, but I got about this far in that amount of time so it was probably closer to like an hour and a half of actually working on it. Um, 
I noticed that in the pattern, the first piece is like the back of the cardigan and half of the front. So this is part of the back piece and I'm like close to halfway done with the back section, if that makes any sense. It has it so that the back and half of the front are connected and then you make the other half of the front separately and then add the sleeves and the trim. So pretty good progress for only a couple of hours. I'm not sure if I'm going to work on it anymore tonight, but if I do, I definitely won't be filming it because I'll be watching Netflix with my husband. Um, but I am going to put in stitch markers at the end of what I do each day so that at the end of the project I'll be able to see like how much I did each day and be able to show you in case like a lot of it happens off camera or anything like that. So this will be my first one marking everything I did today and today is Friday the 17th so I'm going to actually go make dinner and maybe do some more crochet tonight and I will see you the next time I pick up a project. Good morning, it's the next day. Um, I spent a little time this morning already working on the cardigan. So you can see my little red mushroom is where I left off yesterday and I've added in a couple rows since then. I'm gonna try to squeeze in a couple more rows right now before I have to go to an event for the day. Um, but yeah, so far the sweater's going really well. I haven't gotten to any of the interesting things yet but I am excited to keep working on it. I realized I forgot to tell you yesterday what I was listening to while I was working. I started listening to the audiobook of Nine Perfect Strangers because I know it's coming out, I believe it's a TV series, if not a movie. Um, and I'm really excited to watch it because the ads look really interesting, but I wanted to make sure that I read the book first. So I was listening to that yesterday. I listened to about three hours of the 17 hour audiobook I think but I was doing other tasks and stuff um, but right now I'm actually catching up on YouTube so I'm watching some cinnamon stitches and some Anna Collagian while I am crocheting so we're gonna get a couple more rows in before we start our day now Tuesday so I skipped a couple days of filming because of weekend stuff and what I was working on. Um, on Sunday I went to a baseball game with some friends so I only did a couple rows on the project both like early in the morning and then late at night when we got back and then on Monday I spent most of the day helping my grandparents with stuff in their yard and they live an hour away so I didn't really do a lot of filming um, but I did work on the sweater. So, as you know, I'm going to wait for the train to pass. Okay, so as you know, up to the red mushroom stitch marker. <clears throat> wow, that's a loud train. Let's try that again.
I should have just closed the window. <clears throat> okay, let's try that again. So as you know, what I worked on up to the red mushroom stitch marker is what I did Friday. Then from red to orange. <clears throat> Okay, we're going to do this one more time. So as you know, what I did up to the red mushroom stitch markers, what I did on Friday between red and orange was Saturday. Between orange and yellow, where it's only a few rows, was what I did on Sunday. And then yesterday, I did up to the row with the green stitch marker. So I am now working on one of the front panels that's attached to the back panel. So we're going to see if we can get the front panel done today. I think I'll probably finish at least the front panel while watching Bachelor in Paradise tonight. I also finished the audiobook I was li listening to, which was um, Nine Perfect Strangers. Highly recommend. It was very good. Um, I wouldn't call it surprising. I think based on how they did kind of the promos for the mov movie or TV show. I can't remember which that's coming out. Um, I kind of suspected some of the big plot twists, but still highly recommend, really cool read, um, especially if you liked Big Little Lies because it's by the same author. Um, so now I'm going to continue my usual um, spooky podcasts listening. Um, I'm currently listening to episode 19 of And That's Why We Drink, and I also have a couple episodes of, I think it's called True Crime and Knit. an ad. Uh, yeah, True Crime and Knit is the other podcast that I have queued up because I follow the creator of that podcast on Instagram. On Instagram, I believe she's Drunk Knitter. Um, so yeah, got lots of podcasts to get through and some Bachelor in Paradise to watch tonight while I keep working on the sweater. Tuesday, so it has been a couple days since I filmed. I ended up having a really busy end of the week and weekend last week, um, which didn't le leave me with a lot of time to film. I ended up working on the sweater like for five or ten minutes in between things and then I'd have to head out the door, which meant that I didn't have a lot of like usable time to film. But I did finish the vest like area of the sweater so the back and the two front panels it's looking pretty good so far and I wove in all of my ends so far real proud moment for me um, so there is gonna have to be a part two to this video um, because I need to upload what I have <laughs> in order to have a video ready for my next deadline um, realizing that those are self-imposed deadlines but you know um, so there will be a part two sometime next month where I finish off the sleeves and the edging. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them down below. You can also follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Etsy, and right here on YouTube. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!